doing today? Good Thanksgiving Thursday you guys had? Family and good times? And tomorrow is Vincent's birthday? Good job. It's fun to work in that yard, yeah? Oh, well, it's destroying the weeds that we don't want, so that's kind of good. <laughs> All right. So I want to encourage you guys with one of my favorite chapters of the Bible. It's in John 10. So the big kids, we're going through John, and we've been drawing the book of John together, and we're here in John 10. So I wanted to share with the little ones as well. And he says, so this is Jesus speaking. Most assuredly, so listen, listen very good, guys, okay? Most assuredly, I said to you, he who does not enter the sheep fold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers." Jesus used this illustration, but they did not understand the things which he spoke to them. So when you keep reading that, he said that over, like two more times in different kind of words. But what is Jesus talking about, guys? Who is the good shepherd? Jesus, right? And Jesus is God. So that's the thing, right? Like Jesus is a good shepherd. He guides us, he leads us, but who will listen to the shepherd's voice? Us, right? His sheep. He says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. So if you are a sheep of God, like that's just an illustration, right? It's not that we're sheep, but our, he says, come through, I am the door. It's not that Jesus is a door, literal. But when we walk through him and when we come to life through the sacrifice he did, then we become his sheep. And he says, his sheep, my sheep, here's my, and they, they follow me. So the question, I'm going to ask you guys a very big question that is, you don't need to answer. But the question is, are you listening to Jesus' voice? Are you listening? Are you reading the Bible? Are you listening at home? Yeah, at home. Not just on Sundays, but every day at home. Are you, like, reading and listening and doing what God wants us to do? Or are we just doing our own thing and just wanting to live our lives however we want but this is the cool thing, guys. If we listen and we have like a desire to to listen and to obey the commandments of Jesus, the words of Jesus, is because he is your shepherd and you're hearing his voice and you're following him. Not because, um, not because, well, we are all special, but it's because he's working in your heart in a more special way. So if you don't have that desire, pray about it and say, God, give me that desire. And if you pray about it, that means that you have a desire already, you know. If you like, oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not listening to my shepherd's voice. I'm not listening to Jesus, but I want to. So if you have that desire in your heart, pray and ask God, God, help me to listen. Help me to obey and then repent Say sorry to God for the things that you know they don't make God, like, happy, okay? Like, what kind of things can we do that can make God not be pleased with us? Any idea? 
line, what else? Yeah, or any of the Ten Commandments. And we will do. We will break them because we're not perfect. And that's why Jesus needed to come as the good shepherd. He says too in that uh, in chapter 10, he says, I am the good shepherd. I give my life for the sheep. So he needs to give his life because we will break the commandments. We will fail over and over again. But he didn't. He didn't fail. He lived a perfect life. And because of that perfection, now he covers us with his sacrifice and his resurrection can be in our hearts and can make us a new person that now loves God. Okay? Butterfly. <laughs> there was a butterfly there. Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you are real. Thank you, Jesus, that you're God, that you are you live the life that no one can live, Lord. That you pay the price for your people. That you died and resurrect. That uh, that you came to give us life and life abundantly. So I pray, Lord, that you will bless every child here. That they will get to know you in a real way. That they will hear your voice. That it will not be just like a, a Sunday thing, but it will be a... A transformation of their hearts that they will have a, a full transformation Lord that they will know you that they will love you that they will share you with other friends with other uh, people with their family that they will be a witness and a testimony of your power in your name Jesus Christ we pray amen